You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. We are on another set here from Crazy Happy Kitchen. It looks like I get to make some cookies, and I have to use the microwave on this set. I just want to show you quickly here the donut set. A lot of people say that needs to be microwave, but there's nothing on the packaging on the front or back about microwaving like this set in other sets. So that is the difference between the two. So when you see a microwave on there, especially on the back, you know you've got to be using the microwave. Uh, no other real information here on this one. There's a few little decorating instructions there, and then all the steps on the back. And as you know, I like to take everything out of the box and uh, see what we have here. And then usually, not all of them, um, the packaging, the plastic packaging here, is your your uh, mat. And it looks like this one is requiring some cutting. And there's little tidbits of information too. Uh, see here, microwave. It looks like there's a cooling time you need to do. Um, so let's just cut this one open and see all the pieces. I usually cut it open, dump it all out, and it takes me a few minutes off camera to kind of organize it and see everything I have. So there's two piping bags with this set. The little candy beads, there is the uh, uh, like a spoon with a little grate for cutting. It's got a knife type end on it. And there's some shapes in the tray. Looks like there's going to be multiple cuts on the tray. So that's the way I am right now. When we check back in, I'm going to have it all organized. Well, there you go. All organized and ready for you. I have the packets laid out just like they have at the top of the box here. The orange, the brown the pink, the blue, and then the little beads, and then I have my two pastry bags. So I can really get started here, not on the mixing part, but getting prepped with my tray. I can move all this stuff out of the way now. I'm not gonna need it right away. And then cutting my outer pack, you'll see there are lines to follow, so we will do that. All right, and then this side, And then there's two more cuts it looks like they want you to cut this here. So this becomes our tray. There. I wonder if there's one more cut in here. It doesn't show another cut, but I'm just going to trim this off here. Keep my direction. So that's done. And then it looks like on this particular tray there's an angle cut and then two straight cuts to isolate this center section here. So I want to isolate this, cut this off. Let me do that now. This looks like it's going to be a fun cut. There we go. And then do that on the other side. I might just trim that a little bit. Okay, it's good. There we go. This is what we're baking the cookies in because we're looks like we're making flat cookies. Now the two chocolate and the vanilla I'm gonna say are mixed in this section. So I'm gonna have to mix the vanilla, shape the balls, and then uh, wash this out, and then do the same thing for the frosting because they're both made in this section. So there's gonna be a lot of washing here, and then from what I see, it's one scoop for each one and then on the frostings it's two scoops for each one so I guess I can start the first one and put this in here now we don't really need this right now okay let me zoom in. We don't need this either, so we'll set all the stuff we don't need in the back. Ooh. And then this one has a smaller scoop than I'm used to seeing on most of the sets. Different shape. So there is one. That is not a lot at all in there. So let's get to mixing. I know at first you're a little hesitant thinking that's not enough, but we'll just keep mixing it and then it should just turn into a dough.
See, it's already starting to act like it's supposed to. Maybe that's just a deeper one that I'm used to seeing. So maybe it does have a substantial amount of water in it. Just keep scraping this off here. and You just keep working it. Well, it's starting to shape. So it looks like this one's going to take longer than normal for most of the mixes. Okay. Now, as always, we put skip times in the description. So this is going to take some time. So I'm just going to keep mixing it. Basically, gives you a realistic idea how long this is going to take. I guess it'd be a good time to Leave a comment below. You've seen us do a lot of these sets. You got a favorite set? Is there a set uh, you've had before? And is there a set that you want to see us do? I mean, there's they're coming out with new sets, I see. I've been onto the Crazy website. I could put it through Google Translate. I even have some videos there of their own products that I watched. Nothing that we've done. Okay, I think I'm close. There's still powder in here, so not a lot, but it's still in there. Let me zoom out just a little. There we go. Seems like when I'm close, the camera goes to that bluish color. I don't like that. It has a it has a hard time with color changes like when I zoom in and out it doesn't happen all the time just certain scenes that I'm in well I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop here probably just take it out and do a little bit uh, by hand for some reason I have a tray here it seems easier sometimes to just work the rest with your fingers, so I'm going to do that now. I got to wash this out anyway, so I'm just doing a little bit different. That for me works a little better when I'm trying to work on those little tray areas. Okay, there we go, got the powder now, see what I did there, if that works for you, do the same thing, you just got to clean off your fingers a little bit, now of course, have clean hands when you do this, there, here, I'll tell you what, I'll scrape it off, it's nice and sticky, but it comes off real easy there, see? Alright, so I'm going to now wash up and then come back. I'll clean up my area here and start the next batch of dough. Okay, so my next mix was the chocolate. Now I have that formed off to the side. I gotta break them up into three balls. So let me, uh, three shaped balls. Now I had, um, the, uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know what I was gonna say. I haven't done that yet. That's what I'm gonna say. So while I was talking and not thinking, I spilled some, but we're moving on. All right, so it was one more of this little measure. All right, and then just go for it. So again now, I'm just going to keep talking to you. So overall, let me see, all the crazy kits we've done. We started with the donut kit. Now that video is in the channel, and I... Uh, went into it without any information, any knowledge, any research, and just did the kit. Then we had a, just a ton of 
negative comments. Yes, that happens on YouTube, everybody. But that's okay. That just drives us to to improve things and to change things. So a lot of times we get constructive comments or people saying, well, you did that wrong or you should do it this way. So I try to, you know, take those comments and work with them. Or if someone says you should try this, well, we do it if we can. So that went to the donut, and that first donut video was probably, it was very short. The second donut video was over probably a half hour, and uh, I spent a lot of time setting that one up and making it so that we covered all of our bases there, so that people can see, yeah, you can do it any way you want, the easy way, quick and easy, or you can spend a lot of time decorating and prepping uh, for that final look. Now I found it much easier in the tray, so I'm going to move over to that right now. It just seemed easier for me to incorporate it and work it, so I'm going to switch to that. It gave me dirty fingers, but you know, life goes on. I'd rather have it dirty with something edible. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of toss it in here. And I was able to quickly make the ball shape out of it too. That smells good. Chocolatey. Here's what I'll try to do though. I'll try to keep my left hand as clean as possible. There we go. I'll just keep pushing it on the dry. Now a lot of people will just time lapse this part. You have no idea how long it actually did take to mix it. One minute you have this powder, and the next minute you have a perfectly formed ball, not realizing that it's going to take time to get there. You see? It's taking me time. Let me move this here. Okay. This is all I did with the vanilla one. And then eventually I was just able to pick it up, make a shape. I will need this uh, plate again so I'm gonna have to wash everything again. See how that is now? See to me that's easier and quicker. So I just kept doing that with the vanilla one. Same thing. And I just picked it up Worked it in my hand. It wasn't as sticky now. See, it's not sticking to my hand. And then formed the ball. And you can pick up all the little crumbs now. So there. There's my two shapes. So one more quick cleaning, and we'll come back and start cooking them. All right, all cleaned up and ready to go. Can't do the frosting yet. I need to get these into three. So let me do that. That's approximately three. And same thing for this one. Still nice and soft, even after cleanup. I thought maybe they would dry a little, but they're okay. And then now comes this shape. They showed on the box doing uh, the two and then microwaving. So I have to do this three times. So let me just uh, see how this goes into the shape and if it's enough or if I need to make an adjustment. I almost think I don't want to use my fingers on this. Something that isn't, it doesn't have a lot of heat to it. And I don't know if I need to be just in line and take the excess off, you know. Let me just trim out. Get it right to the level I need it. And I'll keep pushing until it's perfectly in there and if it goes over I'll just keep trimming and keep working it this way to get that cookie nice and level in there I could see this taking a long time to do all six so I'm going to probably just do the one for each of these and then I'll have to just this one looks like it takes a little more and what I'll have to do is I'll just have to do them off camera, but at least we know what the process is for one. 
and what it takes and I'll show you all the steps of that then I'll make the rest and kind of give you an idea how long it took me to make all six of these so it's almost too sticky for my hands I'm going to use this to kind of, oh I hit that one by accident make it nice and level I need just a tiny bit by this upper ear So this one, let's see if we can see the other side, see the shapes. So let's put this in the microwave. Now, I'm not, uh, I'm going to be a little cautious. Fortunately, I can make six, and I'll judge it by the first one if it's the right amount. So more than likely, your microwave is much hotter than the recommended ones they have on the box, the 500 and 600 watts. Oh, I found a piece of chocolate on my arm. So... They say 500 watts, 50 minutes, 600 watts, 50 minutes, 50 seconds, 60 watts, 40 seconds. I mean, wow, I'm really messing this up. 500 watts, 50 seconds, 600 watts, 40 seconds. I'm going to do it for 30 seconds and uh, put that in the microwave. So we'll go there and do that next. All right, so I'm going in there now at 30 seconds, and we'll see how they come out for our first batch. And it looks like they're slightly puffing up. So they should drop. That's 10. I'm seeing a color change here. I'm going to stop it. So that's too long. Let me put them up top and show you. All right, that's the first batch, as you can tell. Um, the one on this side, a little too long to both. Although, I'll probably still use that one. This one here, look at that. Too much. So now I'm going to cut it down to uh, 20 seconds and see if that makes a difference. So I'm going to make a few more and then I'll test it again and show you in the microwave. All right, I molded my second two and I'm ready to put those in and see how those come out. And we're going to drop the time by 10 seconds. All right, here we go. I'm actually only going to do 15 seconds this time because I still had six seconds on the clock last time. So let me start that. So now I'm at 15 seconds. And I don't think it's going to take much more than that. So I actually might stop it. Well, that's 15 seconds right there. Okay, so we'll see how those come out. All right, so let me show them up top now. All right, much better at 15 seconds. Let me flip them over and see if there's anything I need to concern myself with. They do still now look like a cookie. Let me move this tray in here. Let me zoom out a little. Okay, let me flip this one carefully. So just a tiny bit of maybe burning in here. So I'm going to go down on the last ones to say 12 seconds. So let me, while I have you here, I'll just form them for you. It seems to be quicker once you just work it real fast into all the little grooves so we really had one super bad cookie overall pretty good I've been using this to push it down which seems to work great and if there's extra just kinda clear it off okay so overall it doesn't take long to get the cookies in the molds. Looks like I can maybe make one more after this. Just by how I'm doing it. Yeah, I think I can. Ooh, so I might be able to salvage one of my cookies. And still have the six. Okay, again, once I get it like that, I'm going to take this and just push. It seems to stick less in your hands. Okay, so... 12 seconds now. 
Not sure if you want to go back to the microwave with me, but I'm taking you back there. Anyway, so let's go back. All right, here we go. 12 seconds this time. It's going to be hard to tell on the chocolate ones, but should be much better now. That's four, three, two, one. This microwave sometimes go, goes a little bit longer, but I think it's just a fan that's on that's in there. I don't think it's actually baking them. There we go. So let me show you up top now. Okay, these came out great also. I'm not letting them cool much longer. I can get them out and get the next batch going. So I'll show you those all closer in just a second. Let me get this one out. See how that came out? And it was enough for me to make one more. So uh, since I ruined one of the pinwheel ones, I'm going to make another one of those. Now this time, I'm not going to take it to the microwave. I'm just going to do it, come back, and then uh, see how fast that is to shape. And we'll start the frosting, and then I guess the decorating would be next after I get all the frosting and prep up all my supplies for that. So next time we check back, it's time to start the frosting. All right, I'm all set. They came out great. I've got my six cookies. Here was the one that uh, was burnt in the first batch. And the last cookie, it was a single one. I did that for 10 seconds just because there was one on the tray. So you really have to watch your oven time and experiment. The next thing is the mixes. So we'll do the vanilla frosting first. And I'm set to put it in the uh, piping bag in the back. I have that all set to go. I just have to mix it up and then transfer to that. Then wash it again. And then uh, do the blue. Now, I'm sure a lot of people don't wash between steps, but I'm going to. It's kind of, that's the process. So you see how long it does take. So you have to add the washing time, if you're going to do that, to each step. So here is the two scoops. It says two scoops of water. And then mix it up. Ooh, almost knocked it over. That wouldn't have been fun. That is the pink, so it does look kind of thin. It did say two. A lot of times this does thicken up when it sits, so by the time I get to the second color, this will probably have set. So there you go. I think that's pretty good. Here is my piping bag. I'll just pour it in there. Yep, it's getting a little thicker. Okay, so let me... Go rinse this out and get set for the blue. I am set for the blue now. You know, I've been forgetting to do my bags and get them all worked down to the bottom. Again, this shows two scoops of water, so... And we'll just do that and then put that in our piping bag. And then I'll probably just do my last cleanup and then go into decorating. So that's the last step. And then this video is almost done. Kind of sad sometimes when you get to the end of a video. As you can see, I got my piping bag. They give you two piping bags. It's all set in the back, so I can just roll with it. All right, there we go. Just pour that in this one. I'll let that set. So by the time I clean and come back, it should set a little bit, and then I can start decorating. Here we go. I'm on the final stages. My cookies are set. My frostings are set. I just need to get my little candies into a bowl. I have my tweezers handy, and then I just need to decide on which cookie I want to do first. I'm going to do one of my bunnies first, the one who's got the little burnt mustache in there. And I might just do him with blue. Now my frosting has set up quite a bit, so did exactly what we needed. Just gonna trim off a little tip there. See if that's a good amount, that's a good amount. So I think I'm gonna just uh, cover up his mouth with frosting and his nose area and his eyes. Okay. So that's set up really nice. And then maybe I'll do a pink bow. Let me get this one set here. 
I didn't show you cutting that, so I cut it just a tiny little hole off that. And then we'll give him a pink bow. So I'm going to turn it this way. And then we'll do the bow. There you go. And then I'm going to give him some beady eyes, huh? Some pink beady eyes. Okay, so there is my first cookie. Let me get my side dish in here. Because I'm going to definitely eat these at the end, but I do want to, you know, grab some milk, I think. Milk and cookies, can't beat that. Now this is kind of like a pinwheel here, so I'm going to just put some in the center. And then at each of the points, I think. Make sure you see where I'm going with this. And then, it's going to take a little time, so I'm going to put these here, and then just start going around my points. And I decided I have yellow, so I'm just going to see if I can do them all in yellow. I don't know if I have enough. Be close. I need three more yellow. Oh, I have it. All right. And one more. What should I put in the center? What color would you put in the center? Pink? No. Got the pink frosting. Uh, I think I'm going to do orange. Okay, so that is cookie two. And then I got a bunch of blue here, so let me do... Hmm. Oh, the creating part. Sometimes that's the hardest part. Like, what are you going to do? Let me just see if I can... Well, let me just put a big blob in the middle. Like a flower. And then... Maybe I'll just put some pink on top of that, like that. That's good. Okay, because I have three more to do, and only so much frosting. Let me do another bunny here. Let me do his ears. Didn't do the ears on the last one. Okay, and I'll do his eyes again. And then I'll fill in his mouth. And then I'll just bring in some... Looks like he's got a mustache. We'll give him... Give the other one pink eyes. We'll do purple eyes. Sticking to my other stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to leave him like that. And then this one here. Let's say we just go nuts, huh? I'm going to trace his whole outer edge in pink. We're going nuts here. Going nuts. I'm going to fill in this open area with pink. See, look at that. And then the rest with blue. Only because I'm coming to the end here. So we'll do this with blue. So you don't see his face anymore, but I think you get it now. Right? I'm going for a completely covered cookie. And then the last one. I've got just a little bit of frosting. I really like the pinwheel one that I did 
But uh, let's just put a circle around the, the intersection. How's that? Then we'll decorate that. And we'll put some pink in different spots, not following them all. I think there was a little piece of plastic on that. Looks like it's still in there. Looks like it's time for some tweezers. It's like a plastic splinter. Okay, I like that one. And now let me get a little piece of fuzz on my tweezers. It's from my towel. Alright, so the last step here now, it's not really a step, it's just representing these all to you in more detail. Because now, ooh, we can save them. I'm going to try to drop three right in the middle here. One. I'll move them in a second with my tweezers. Two. Well, maybe I can get four in there. Three. Four. Ooh, don't fall. Don't fall. Stay up. Good. And then one orange one. Look at that. Right in the center. There you go. So, I need to take a quick break here because it's really intense and then uh, I'm gonna come back and present them to you one more time well here we are I'm all set I have some milk in my teapot in the background because I'm having a little you know pretend tea party here and I can eat my cookies here's how they turned out let me give you a nice tight shot there so I'm gonna say overall I'm pretty happy with them this one of course you know looks a little messed up but you know that's part of decorating let me pour some milk here and then, uh, while you're looking at that, I'll be pouring my milk, and I'm all set to go. So let me taste one now. I have milk in my little cup, because I think I want to dip this one in and give it a taste. It's okay. The frosting is nice and sweet. Now let me try, uh, well let me zoom out a little bit here. My camera's doing its color thing again on me. Come on, go to white. There you are. So let me try one of my pinwheels, because those smell the best. Well, let me take a sip of milk. And I'm going to eat it. Those little candies are crunchy, can you hear? I like the chocolate better than the vanilla. Now I have to take a drink again. Ah, very good. So there it is. I've uh, completed another kit here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, you know, check in that description or search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching! And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up!